Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. The Bang Bang Gang. And then I am not making any of these names up. <laughs> the first man was named Sean Moore. Cool. Second guy is named London Lightning. Yeah. yeah a little wacky, but you're a wrestler because you're a wacky name. London Lightning. I'll, I'll remember London Lightning. The fourth guy, singular, fourth guy, Michael Allen Richard Clark. I laughed. Not going to lie. I was so confused because I thought they announced four men, and there's only three there. I had to rewind to double check this, and when I realized that one of them was named Michael Allen Richard Clark, people have said like we, like we should have the cameras on us as we are watching the shows, and that's a terrible idea because for hours and hours we just sit there and type and don't say a goddamn thing or don't react. Mm-hmm. They should have had a camera on me when I realized this man's name was Michael Allen Richard Clark. Because sitting alone in my living room, my brain broke. I made a noise, something close to... Dap, 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 dap. I could not process this. Michael Allen Richard Clark. It's just an extra name. It's two extra names. And they're all first names. You're ignoring... You're, you're, you're burying the lead. That's four first names. Yes. Well, yeah, that is bad. So, that was the least of my worries when all of a sudden done. Yeah. They won quick. The announcers say it's not a trio's title match. It turns out the Freebird rule is not in effect, and uh, 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 Jews cannot fill in for Jay White. They do the match as a comedy squash. I know the heels win, but apparently the Bang Bang Gang is baby faces. Now I can't keep track of this anymore. They win. They show more charisma in two minutes than most shows get in an hour. Then they do a promo announcing that since Jay White is hurt, Juice is officially a trio's champion. They should have just made him that in the first place. But then... Christopher Daniels comes out. We will not allow a sub to defend the titles, he says. Even though it was just last winter when Samoa Joe subbed for Adam Cole in defense of the Ring of Honor titles. I guess it was last summer. But whatever it was. They've done it have before. Have we not done the Freebird rule in AEW? We must have. The we House of have. Black, I'm pretty sure, did it. Yeah. And uh, just, just, and if not, who cares? It's the Bang Bang Gang. Does anyone really get that upset about who's the rightful trios champion? So he's stripping of the titles. Everyone boobs. Yeah, l- 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 let's 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 rewind. Okay. He stripped them mm-hmm. of the titles. He did. He said, "If Jay White is hurt, he's been hurt by the way for like a show. Yeah, we- if he's hurt, right at this exact second, you cannot replace him with Juice. The titles must be relinquished." I was like, first off, this is so stupid that you're saying that we can't." substitute somebody in when it has been done before that's number one and number two the guy's been gone less than a week Mm -hmm. why are you stripping the titles because a guy's been out less than a week so then after stripping them of the titles in what is supposed to be a babyface ruling but got booed christian comes out and says give us the titles and daniel says I got a better idea. You three will face the guns and juice. What? And the winners will be the champions. So we can't let you transfer somebody in (laughs) unless we strip you of the titles yeah. Then we put that person in, and you immediately fight for the titles in a title match. What in the name of absolute fuck was this? This was preposterous. I was so angry. This was... I, it, had it not been scorching hot outside, worrying not pressed for time, I absolutely would have gone for a walk here. Mm-hmm. I was so pissed how stupid this was. On top of the... We're going to strip you of the titles and then just put you into a tag team title match anyway. As dumb as that is, think about all the teams that actually compete in this trios division regularly. Top Flight and Action and Dreddy. Shane Taylor Promotions. They've been pushing the Learning Trios trios. They've been pushing Hook and Joe and Shibata trios. I realize two of those guys are hurt now. The Undisputed Kingdom they're doing a lot with. The fucking acclaimed, the former champions. All just bypassed. Lance Archer and the fucking Righteous. The Bucks and Okada. There's a whole tree. There's like, there's a... 
stacked trios division that has not been allowed to compete for these titles all goddamn year because the stupid fucking acclaimed versus uh, fucking bang bang gang feud that sucks so bad and it's gotten no better since that feud ended. What is the point of these titles? There's a division of geeks that just fight each other doing nothing and two cha or three champions who do random stuff with other people. This division sucks, and it pisses me off because we wanted EW to have Trio's titles for so goddamn long, mm. and as soon as they brought them in, it's been awful. Awful. They were stripped of nine belts. Yes. That's right. Nine! Okay, all that said, Vinny, would you please do me the pleasure of playing Christopher Daniels and just said, just say, I am stripping you of the Trio's titles, and I will play Juice Robinson. I am stripping you of the trio's titles. What? I thought you were cool. <laughs> Juice tried. Juice tried to save this. I thought you were cool. Or died. A recap of Jack Perry versus Marco stunt from last week. A House of Black promo. They say next week they start building the foundation of Wembley. Whatever the fuck that means. A Jeff Jarrett. Uh, uh, well, there's no one heart tournament recap video. Let's focus on Jeff Jarrett and his. Uh, Close friendship with Owen and all that. Roderick Strong versus Dalton Castle with his new boys, the Outrunners. This changed my mood around quickly. Mm -hmm. The Outrunners flexing to the beat of Dalton's music as Dalton rants about the face-to-face -face conversation he had with 27 horses that day in Calgary. I never knew I needed this team until I saw it, and now I need them badly. So the match itself, I love Roderick Strong. I love Dalton Castle. Match was a whole lot of nothing. Mo I thought this match was a lot of fun Mo because I'm a huge fan of Dalton's suplex comeback. I mean, where he grabs you out of midair and just keeps going into the suplex. Yeah, and he has the best suplexes in all of wrestling. It'll never get old. I mean, yeah, the rest of the match. I mean, it was all right. I I, I, I liked it. I mean, a lot. A lot of it was during commercial. Th these suplexes in particular, as you noted, most guys when they do a suplex, it's down up. Yes. And with Dalton, it's usually just up. Up. It's just up. Dalton was this this time. It wasn't even up. It was just grab, and you're, like, you're at the same level, and you're flying through the sky. It, it, it seemed to defy physics. Now I don't know what happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. So don't report that I'm reporting something, but I can tell you this: they. Do the big comeback, and Dalton gets sent outside. Kingdom is yelling at him. Then they start yelling at the ref, you can't DQ me, I'm just telling the truth, he's an idiot. <laughs> so Roddy gives Dalton the backbreaker on the apron. Dalton kicks out. And then Roddy hits a jumping knee. And the ref counts one, two, and there's a very obvious edit, three. And then the ref is swarming all over Dalton. I don't know if Roddy knocked him out with the knee. I don't know if they botched the finish and edited it in whatever they edited it in. But something absolutely happened at the finish. And they had a very, very obvious edit to cover up for whatever it was. So uh, hopefully everyone's all right because that's usually not a good thing. Dalton's another one of those guys. He's super, super talented and you would love to see him do something or go somewhere, but with 200 people on your roster, 200 plus, he just gets lost in the mix, and it's it's really sad. So this was a top contenders match, and because Roddy wins, it will now be Roderick Strong versus Mark Briscoe for the Ring of Honor title at Death Before Dishonor in two weeks. Which brings us to Mark Briscoe. Cooking a promo from home in Sandy Fork. Ain't no days off. He's been in the ring for an hour. Got blood and guts coming up. That's not up for the elite. They might get some blood and guts in your fancy suits. I'm a chicken farmer. Blood and guts is what I do. Blood, guts, and chicken shit. You add that too, yeah. Probably more the third, honestly, but I'm sure some of the others. So he just found out two nights later he's got to defend his belt against Roderick Strong. They have fought many times in the past, but he's older and wiser now. I believe he said Orange Cassidy is going to take out Bennett and Taven. And Roddy, your ass is mine. Great promo. He is the best on promos this year. Yes. Yes. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.